Hey guys and girls, and thank you for watching another episode of the Xbox Tester. My name is Maurice. Today, we are finally getting a look at The Witcher 3 New Gen Edition on Xbox Series S. And I was really looking forward to this one. And um, good news. Let's get into it. First of all, let's see how much data this game is, and it's 53.7 GB. That's included all the expansions, everything. So it's a complete version. If you already have the uh, original version of the game, you can actually um, download this upgrade completely for free. It's a upgrade, it's not a standalone version, so Everything you already uh, did in the original version is still unlocked in this version. It's um, it it doesn't have a a, a new uh, achievement list or anything. I also had the question from a lot of you people: Can we play this game from an external SSD or HDD? No, this is a internal game. You need to install it on your internal SSD. So. Um, the game is not on Game Pass or anything. Right now it's 50 euros. Nah. Wait for a sale. This game is on sale so many times. I've seen it as go as low as five bucks. So yeah, definitely wait for a nice sale on this game. Um, like I said, it's fully optimized for new generation of consoles. Really well, I must say. And let's go start it up. You guys, if you like this kind of content don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel it means a lot for me you really helping out this channel you can also hit the bell icon i upload almost on a daily basis new games old games updates on games even a little bit of hardware here and there so the witcher 3 by cd project red a uh, big shout out to cd project red by the way for sending me early access to this upgrade so I could make a video on my channel. I'm really humbled by that. And uh, yeah, see you got let's go check it out. So, um, good news. The news everybody was waiting for. Yes, it runs at 60 FPS on your series S. Da -da -da -da. <laughs> yeah, it's 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 really amazing. It's really good how it all looks. And uh yeah, look at it. It's gorgeous. There are two modes actually you can choose from. There's the performance mode that I'm playing on right now, and I think it's even higher than 1080p. It feels like it's somewhere in the range of 1200, maybe a dynamic 1440p. Um, there's also a quality mode. With the quality mode, you get higher uh, or better, I must say, uh, graphics. You don't get any uh, ray tracing. Ray tracing is only on PS5 and Xbox Series X. So you've got with the quality mode, I'm going to get to quality mode right now. So this is 30 FPS, but yeah, way higher resolution, way better light effects. Um, if you are into that kind of stuff, I can highly recommend it playing on a quality mode. It looks absolutely gorgeous. This is definitely a dynamic 1440p, maybe even higher. It's insane how good this looks. Talk to Vazimir. Look at these these effects in the in the faces. Got good news and bad news. Good news and bad news. Guardian Garrison knows where Yennefer went, and the bads that we have to kill the Griffin for. Also, the those the armors they're wearing. There's so much detail on it. Griffin's For a game this there. old, gotta make a lure. Set that's down. pretty insane. How's that going? <clears throat> Got some information. It's a male had its nest in the Vulpine woods. So I'm still pretty at the start of the game. Smashed their eggs. 
thought they'd fixed things. I never really completed it by bad. some Instead of crazy way. I, I don't know why. Only end up making but I'm really enemies. enjoying it right now. This is the way I should have played it all that time already. Got the buckthorn. Ought to work like a charm. Powerful scent. More like stench. More Same like stench. Water, rotting meat, manure, piss, standard smells of the countryside. Remember Tredegor? Hunting that pretty, pretty grass. amazing you spent half the upgrade, I must say. Scrubbing yourself. How can I forget? You ever gonna stop bringing that Way up? better than I expected. Fine. If everything's ready, say the word and we'll get to work. Now, let's see. I'm ready. Picked one skip, 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 skip. Uh, let's go. Oh, darn it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Thunderbolts of lightning, very, very frightening me, Galileo. Uh, let's see. Ingredients missing. Ah, here we are. Perfect. Perfect. Still a little bit of the tutorial level. Well, let's just play. Yeah, 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 yeah. Go, 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 go. But I'm gonna play it on 60 FPS mode, of course. That's my way to play it. Performance targets that targets 60 fps with a dynamic resolution i've got motion blur off blur standard blur off camera lens effects on i think those are pretty cool yeah it is a little bit but look at how smooth this is it, it even looks better than the series series of uh, the, the xbox one x version and that one was already pretty well done No, let's get Roach here. Where's Roach? Ah. Drop your sword at once. No, no, no. Freak. Sorry. I'm already gone. Wrong button. But look at these light effects and these shadows. Move it. That's insane. Absolutely gorgeous game. I thought one of the new things was uh, you can now walk backwards with your horse. I think that's one of the new things you can do. I'm not completely sure. I never tried it on the original version, but it's from what I've heard. And they say there are way more surprises than this alone. Here we go. Waves of grain, charming place. Waves of grain, perfect charming place, ambush. perfect for an ambush. Choose them. So, ready? We can start. Let's start. Wind's good. Bait scent will spread quickly. Now all we have to do is wait. Come on. Now all we, we have to do is wait. In the shade of those birches. <laughs> yeah. Wow. It almost Tell looked like a brand new new gen game. What'll you do? Got your eye on a contract? No. 
And that's for a game, what's like, five years old already? Five, six? I don't even know. Yes, and that's what worries me. Nilfgaard's crossed the Pontar in the east. So, yeah, CD Projekt Red definitely knocked it out of the park with this free upgrade. There are lots of um, studios that bring these games uh, with a paid upgrade or a super exclusive X Alpha Plus Limited Collector's Edition, blah, 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 version. And you have to pay like uh, 50 bucks again. Uh oh, here we go. It's close. Let's go give it a warm welcome. Wait, take this. A crossbow. One of Pretty amazing to see this run running on the series as this will. Come in handy. A witcher with a crossbow. We break him with tradition. Stop talking. Got a griffin to kill. Awesome. I am playing this on easy, by the way. I'm I'm not really. Don't let it get away. Oh, come on. Kill the Griffin. in your senses. That's one big sword. Hello, little horsey. Nice windmill. Come on. It's about to die. Oh, darn it. Come on, you can do this. I think I got him. Almost. Here we go. Bye bye, Griffin. Very, 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 very awesome. Not bad. Not bad. But yeah, you guys, this is The Witcher 3 new gen on Xbox Series S. And um, yeah, two thumbs up. It's uh, it's a really, really good new gen upgrade and uh, HDR, everything works. It's 60 FPS, there's a quality mode. It, it has everything I'm asking for a optimized game on the new gen consoles. I really want to thank you for watching. If you want to watch any other videos from mine, there's probably something uh, around there. And I hope to see you guys soon in another video. Till then, bye bye.